Welcome to another edition of Coffee with the Goose, where we talk about things that are, uh, let's see, interesting, fascinating, irritating. Yeah, I'm the Goose. Glad to have you back. Big fight last night in uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington, right around there in Texas, the uh, home territory of Errol Spence Jr., and it was a victory. But uh, before we get into too many details, let's uh, do it the way we always do it, right? A little caffeine to start the day. My coffee, as you know, very strong. Like my opinion, yes, there's real coffee in there. Sorry, guys. Uh, and uh, got some creamer in there to make it sweet, just like me. Mm, all right. Uh, first of all, hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, we did. Uh, you know, it's been a crazy, crazy year. I've never seen anything like this year. But for all the... Uh, irritating, frustrating, painful things we've seen this year. Uh, our family has been very, very blessed. Uh, God has been so merciful, and uh, we're, we're so thankful. So hopefully the same uh, goes with you and your family. Speaking of family, before I get into, uh, you know, uh, Errol Spence Jr., I, I really respect the guy. Uh, he is a family man. We've seen videos of him, with him and his baby, and he's, you know, he's a good guy. There's love in his heart, uh, no doubt about it. And, uh, you know, more uh, props to Errol Spence Jr. Uh, for his recovery after that horrible accident last year in October. He, uh, you know, we all, we all do stupid things in our lives, right? Uh, Errol Spence Jr., no exception, got drunk, hopped in his uh, uh, Ferrari, I believe, convertible, and proceeded in, not wearing seatbelts, of course, that goes to the territory, and proceeded to go a gazillion miles an hour, flip the vehicle over, and he was ejected. Somehow, by the grace of God, he uh, not only survived, but survived to the point where he is apparently alive and kicking and uh, has his wits about him, and so much so that he uh, won his um, comeback fight uh, last night against Danny Garcia and uh, retained his uh, WBC and IBF title. And it was a, a decisive victory. You know, there was really never any doubt, uh, as great as Danny Garcia was and, and is to a degree, um, that uh, Spence was a better fighter. Uh, the only question in my mind was how, how well the recovery went, because, you know, you get... You get uh, knocked upside the noggin like he was, you know, you're going to be able to come in there and trade shots with uh, not just another fighter, but another uh, ex-championship fighter uh, like Danny Garcia. And he did. Uh, you know, Errol Spence Jr. passed the test with flying colors, won a unanimous decision. And again, there is really never any doubt about it. You know, Errol Spence Jr., uh, we've known this for a long time. He's a tough guy. We saw that in his previous uh championship fight against Sean Porter. and You better be a tough guy if you're going to beat Sean Porter. And he did. He actually dropped Sean Porter in the 11th round in route to his victory uh, last year. Uh, he did not uh, overwhelm Danny Garcia, but he beat him, hands down, no doubt about it. Uh, and uh, uh, Errol Spence Jr. is now 27-0 with 21 KOs. And of course, the other welterweight champion fighters were keen observers of the festivities. In attendance at uh, ringside was um, uh, Terrence Crawford, the WBO welterweight champion. Remember, he was coming off a, a decisive championship victory over Kell Brook not long ago. And, uh, you know, Garcia, uh, another great, I would say young fighter, but they're all young compared to Manny Pacquiao, right? He's uh, uh, 33 now, but uh, nobody's ever uh, you know, tarnish his record, and he's dominant and uh, fights from both sides, and he's he's a great fighter. And he, of course, wants a piece of uh, Kel Brook. I'm sorry, uh, Errol Spence Jr. After watching that uh, victory in uh, AT&T Stadium. Well, same thing for Manny Pacquiao. Now, Pacquiao, of course, is a different territory. Uh, he watched the fight live stream, sent his congratulations to Errol Spence Jr. Pacquiao, uh, just to refresh your memory, as if uh, nobody is aware of this, maybe the greatest or one of the greatest fighters of all time, uh, the Filipino superstar, uh, the only eight-division world champion in boxing history, and the only five-lineal division world champion in boxing history his record uh, 62 and 7 with two um, uh, draws and uh, he is the other uh, 
one of the three welterweight champion. He is the, uh, let's see if I can remember this. Actually, I can't. It's, he's the WBN uh, Fighter of the Year last year. So, you know, Pacquiao uh, is uh, ranks up there, as he always had, among the great fighters in the welterweight division, or any division for that matter. Anyhow, Pacquiao, if we, you know, we're really not sure what the future holds for him, at least in the boxing ring. We, uh, after his victory over the much younger and undefeated Keith uh, Thurman last year, uh, he, uh, you know, we've, we've heard rumblings about him uh, copying Floyd Mayweather and uh, taking on the, uh, the uh, 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 kickboxing champion, for lack of a better term, uh, Conor McGregor. And that'll just be a, an exhibition if it does happen. And uh, credit to Pacquiao uh, for this. Uh, a lot of the proceeds, if that fight does take place, will go towards COVID relief. So that's a good thing. And, you know, Manny Pacquiao is not just a great, scary championship fighter, but he is a, a committed family man, a Christian, spreads the gospel, and also spreads his wealth to those who are in need. And there are plenty of people in need. He's uh, done... Uh, Tremendous work uh, in the uh, in a charity, uh, not just in the Philippines but elsewhere. Uh, and now the latest news with Pacquiao has nothing to do with boxing. We're hearing that guess what? It shouldn't surprise you. He's considering running for president to the Philippines. Yes, he of course is a senator, and he recently was uh, elected as the president of the ruling party, the PDP Landband Party of current president, Rodrigo Duterte, the next uh, election coming up in, in uh, 2022. Pacquiao says he is uh, prayerfully considering a run for the president. Okay, so in the meantime, he's not done boxing. He's got a couple fights left, I believe. That's what the, that's what they say. And uh, after that fight last night, maybe it's not going to be Conor McGregor. Maybe it will be Errol Spence Jr., that would be a great money maker, a great pay per view battle. Uh, why not Terrence Crawford? Well, we've discussed this before, uh, and some of you guys don't like this. I'm sorry. You know, hey, I just uh, just give you facts. Some, you know, my opinion, hopefully based in facts. Uh, the reason he probably won't fight Terrence Crawford is a Crawford is a Bob Arum top rank boxing. Uh, property, if you will, and B, his resume, through no fault of his own, is just doesn't measure up to Errol Spence Jr.'s. And, uh, you know, why do I mention the resume? Why does that have anything to do with anything? Well, it, it, it does. It's really the deciding factor, because if you don't have a resume, a great resume, beating other championship fighters, you don't have a following. You don't have uh, uh, millions of people willing to pay money to watch the fight pay-per-view. So probably not going to be Terrence Crawford. And again, I said this before, I admire Terrence Crawford. He is a great fighter, no question about it, but boxing is a money business, and um, that's not going to happen. Uh, I'm guessing, it's just a guess, uh, that it's going to be Pacquiao and um, uh, Errol Spence Jr. When... Well, probably April. That's usually the date when we see, at least the, the, the spring, uh, the date, uh, the, the month where we see great championship fights. So we're hoping uh, we'll get a um, announcement from the Pacquiao camp uh, fairly soon and uh, that uh, it won't be Conor McGregor, although that'd be kind of fun to watch, uh, but uh, rather it will be Errol Spence Jr. That will be a great fight. Uh, it's too soon for me to give you a prediction because it hasn't been uh, uh, settled. It had, uh, these guys haven't signed on the dotted line. The powers that be have not arranged it yet. But if it does happen, I'll tell you this. I don't know who will win. That will be... Uh, yeah, I've seen Errol Spence Jr. fight great fighters, and he is a not just a tough guy, but he is a very skilled fighter. He is an exceptional talent, and uh, of course, he's undefeated. And he's a, uh, the uh, owner of two belts, so yeah, you better better watch out for Errol Spence Jr. Congratulations to Spence. Uh, a great performance, a great champion, 
and uh, a great recovery by the grace of God from that horrible car accident last year. So stick with me. Got lots more to come. Hopefully we'll get some some big news soon concerning the welterweight division uh, and Manny Pacquiao, either Errol Spence Jr., eh, you never know, Terrence Crawford, or maybe even Conor McGregor. We'll see. I'll, I'll let you know. That's it for this edition of Coffee with the Goose. I want to thank you so much for watching, uh, and uh, many thanks for your folks who subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, hopefully we'll you know, get the ball rolling. It's been a crazy year, as you all know, and I hope uh, you guys are well. You and your families are healthy, and uh, you know we'll uh, we'll continue to, to march on by uh, with God's help. Right. All right. That's it for coffee with the goose. This time, you guys take care.